Hey part-timers, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna test all the bergs. No, really, I'm gonna test them all. All right, part-timers, I'm gonna test out six different bergs. I went to Castaplast website, I looked up all the different versions of the bergs and I ordered them all and I even ordered the Eric Oakley Bjorg, which wasn't listed on their website, but I figure, hey, why not? Let's test it out. Now, if you don't wanna watch the whole video, here's the times that you can skip ahead to to check out the berg that you are looking for. But I recommend to stay tuned because each one of these bergs is just a tiny bit different. First up is the K-Soft Berg. This was consistently the most overstable of the bergs I tested. That surprised me a bit because usually soft discs are understable, but I really like that combination of overstability with a softer disc for a nice soft landing on approach shots. The grip is outstanding. It's very grippy, a bit sticky. This is a great throwing disc with the ability to land soft. Now we're gonna look at the K1 Glowberg. I love the stability of the glow. It's stable enough not to turn over when thrown flat, and it has a nice stable finish at the end. It's got good grip without being sticky. This is a great all around throwing putter, and that is why the Glowberg is my main throwing putter in my bag. I love this disc. Next up is the K3 Hardberg. I really like the plastic, especially in summer when it is humid and hot. This plastic is a bit chalky and it feels great on those hot, humid days. The K3 Hard has good stability. It flies pretty straight with no turn to it. So if you're looking for something that's got good grip in the summer and it's got the stability of a Berg, this might be a good one for you.
now we're going to look at the K1 Berg in clear plastic. The clear K1 is a bit grippier than just a normal regular K1. If you're in love with the K1 but you need a little bit more grip on some days, you might want to check out the K1 Clear. It flies pretty much just like a K1, but it's got just a touch extra grip to it. And I really like the way that clear plastic looks. It flies very straight. Pretty much a point and shoot disc with a nice bird landing. Nice and soft. Now we're going to look at the K1 Berg, Eric Oakley edition, which they call the Bjorg. This is your typical Berg. Flies straight, lands straight. This is pretty much what you're looking for with the Berg. Not overstable, not understable, good and straight. FYI, I would not recommend getting the black unless you really keep your eyes on it. What a great disc. Last but not least, we're gonna look at the K3 Berg. This disc was by far the most understable of all the Bergs I've tested. That can be a great thing though, pairing this up with a K1 Soft or a K1 Glow will give you great variety of shot possibilities. Also, out of all the Bergs, this one felt the best as a putter. So if you're looking for a Berg that you can putt with, I would recommend this one for sure. Feels great.
Thanks for tuning in, part-timers. Make sure you stay tuned because my next two videos, I'm gonna list my top 10 favorite discs of the year. I've tested over 70 discs for you guys this year, and I'm gonna go down and give you my top 10 that are still in my bag that I'm still throwing today. So make sure you stay tuned for that. This might even give you some good holiday ideas for ordering some discs for one of your buddies out there. All right, see you next time, guys. Peace. If you'd like to get one of these discs, head on over to tudiscgolf.com. Use the code RIDER2022 for 5% off. We got these discs and more available there now. <laughs>